get a second bike? Why not? Why not? You see, when you get a touring bike, you're gonna need a second bike. Why? Man, you go on city rides with your homies, take little trips here and there. It's just nice to have a little, a little uh, city bike you can ride around. You know what I'm saying? Something like, something you can, you know, lane split if you need to, kind of zip around, stop and go traffic. It's a little annoying to take a, uh, a touring bike. There you go. It's annoying to take a touring bike through stop and go traffic. So. That is the purpose of the lowrider. I believe I have 10 or 12 inch bars on this thing. I gotta double check. I'll put it up on the, uh, the screen for you, for anybody that's uh, interested. And uh, I did all this work on my own, you guys. I got this bike completely stock. It had a thousand miles on it. Foot controls were uh, mid controls, and I was just way too big for that. The seat on top of that, that it came with, was a uh, aftermarket seat and it was one of those short guy seats that scoots you up so it was the worst um, so I had to upgrade it I bought a stock seat from Facebook I got four controls I put the four controls on it I got the risers in the bar I put this on I had to upgrade the cables upgrade the cables I had to put the fairing on, which required an aftermarket bucket for the uh, headlight. There's a lot of work that went into this. It's kind of a pain in the ass, I'm not gonna lie. Friends, so I bought this bike. Check this out, you guys. I love telling dealer stories, all right? I love talking about dealers and just business. And it's cool because you talk about money and how these people make money and how you can save money. So, when I was looking for this bike at dealers locally, they were trying to charge about 16, 17 grand out the door. And um, I was like, what? Like, bro, you could buy a brand new soft tail for that. Like, what are you guys thinking? Um, their excuse was it's a Dyna, it's a limited, you know, item. It's not being sold anymore. And I was like, all right, bro, get out of here. They were selling Dynas, Dyna Lowriders with like a basic stage one on them for 17, 16, 17 grand. <clears throat> so I bought this bike by going on Cycle Trader and uh, and basically just searching my bike up, seeing what I wanted. And I saw a dealer was selling it in a different state for like out the door, it was like 13 grand, which is, you know, it's not amazing, but it's not bad. Especially for a bike that has a thousand miles on it, you guys. And um, and I was desperate. I was like, man, I really want this bike. I've been looking for a while, and I was just I was ready to pull the trigger. So I went ahead and did it. It's like I paid for it, got it delivered, blah blah blah. I did all the upgrades, and um, <laughs> I reached out to that same dealer locally. I was like, hey, you guys want to buy a bike off of me? It's a low rider. You guys want to pay 17 grand for it? They didn't say crap to me. They didn't respond. Obviously, they didn't. They weren't going for it. You know, the funniest thing about it is, I think it was this morning or yesterday, I had another dealer reach out to me because I put my bike back up on Facebook Marketplace just to see if I could make a, a quick, you know, few grand or whatever. I put it up for about 16 17 because that's what the dealer had it for, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm like, I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, I know. I'm trying to sell my bike at, at dealer prices as a private seller, I know. <laughs> I, uh, I put it up and I got a message from a dealer. It was another dealer. <clears throat> They're like, hey, nice bike. You know, I could offer you $10,000 for this bike. That's the retail price. We see you have it, you know, priced at a, you know, we see that you have it overpriced. We're going to offer you 10 grand for it. And they're being nice about it. You know, the, dude, the dude's being nice about it. Um, obviously, because he's trying to buy my bike off me and rip me off and make a huge amount of money off of me and I told him I was like bro my, my bike is not overpriced I was looking for the same exact bike you know and I saw every dealer nearby was selling it for 16 17 grand my bike has upgrades my bike has you know the upgraded handlebars 
a lot of aftermarket work done to it and it's only got a thousand miles on it those bikes i was seeing those dealers sell were either stock or they just had basic upgrades like just the handlebars or whatever um and they had a crap ton of miles on them that i was i'm it was like 15,000 17,000 miles right this is pretty much a brand new bike you guys so you know i was basically playing playing his own game with them you know what i mean i was like oh my bike is overpriced so he's like man those dealers near you they they just they must just be overpriced you know if you ever want to do business reach out to me he's somewhere else in texas he's not he's not in austin where i'm at I don't know where this dealership is exactly located or if I'm going to put them on blast, but I asked him, I was like, how much are you selling a brand new, oh, uh, sorry, a brand new Road Glide for right now, a 2021 Road Glide with the Boom GTS navigation on it, Road Glide Standard 107, how much y'all selling it for, brand new? He's like, let me find out, I'm, I'm going to talk to my manager comes back to me with about 24,000 out the door. I was like, bro, get out of here, man. You guys, you guys are also overpriced. Don't try to act like you guys are giving out like sick deals. To remind you, I bought my Road Glide for um, about 20 grand, you guys. So yeah, lessons learned. Don't only look at your local dealer. <clears throat> get online, look on Facebook, Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, cycle trader don't be afraid you know to ask for extra pictures and <laughs> i don't know how to do ride those things man <laughs> oh man that thing looks so embarrassing they got the flip-flops on and the dorky helmet shoot <laughs> You know what though surprisingly there's some dudes who get like some hot chicks on the back of those those things man these little hipsters man they get chicks i don't know what they do these little bernie sanders supporters man i don't know what they're doing some of these dudes got the sauce 